Hi, I'm Peter Kalmstrom of Kalmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will automate the employment process uh, here at Contoso. And um, I've already created a list to contain all of the information that we need. And now we're going to create a workflow that assigns these tasks depending on which position the new employee has. So I'm going to do that in SharePoint Designer 2013 because I want to build a list workflow connected to the employees list. I'm going to select to do it with a SharePoint 2013 workflow. Could do it with a SharePoint 2010 workflow also, but let's use the latest one here. Assign employee tasks or just new employee to be very specific. It's always good to give good names to your workflows. All right. As always with a workflow, you want to go to the end first. Go to the end, go to the end stage. And you want to set the workflow settings that this workflow should start automatically when an item is created, right? So then we're going to go in and edit this workflow. And we're going to select a condition because we have three different conditions here. If any value equals value. And as you see, we're going to assign tasks. We're going to assign, assign, two, assign two or three tasks depending on which position the user is in. So let's do that. Let's do a condition. If any value equals value, if value equals, or if the value of the current item position equals management in this case, then we're going to do three tasks. So let's do those. So we're going to assign a task. And let's assign the task to me. Let's just, there we go, Peter Kalmstrom, that's fine, that's me. And we'll just do that for now. And then under the task options, I don't want the workflow to stop. I want to, to create all the tasks at once. That's an important thing to consider whether you want them to be run in sequence or in parallel. Of course, I want them to be run in parallel. The task title, computer for and then the first name, space, last name. All right. All right, so there we have the title of the task. Okay, now we can go ahead and copy this. And we need two of them for the two other positions. So let's right click and copy this action and then paste it underneath there. Paste, there we go. Then we can copy this entire thing and Paste it underneath there. Control C, Control V works, of course, beautifully also here. And then we have the finance one. And finally, we have the pasting again. Then we have the production one. All right. And then we need to, a third task here on the management. Control C on that one. Make sure you select the right thing and put the cursor in the right space before you paste. All right. So now we have three tasks for management two tasks for finance and production. Then we just need to do the hard work of changing all this. So let's do the um, change for this one. Now the corporate visa for all that. And then we have the uh, private office. There we go. Um, let's do the rest of it also. That oh, They need a computer also in the finance department, so that's fine. We'll just leave that as now. And then we'll do the desk. And finally, in production, they'll get a tablet. And they'll get protection gear. And we're getting close to testing this thing. All right, so then we publish this workflow. And once that's published, we'll go in and create an employee and see if we get all the tasks assigned. Done publishing, let's go here and create a new employee. And he's gonna be finance and his recruitment, that's fine. Save. So uh, there we see in the 
view, we see that this workflow uh, has a column for it, and that should say stage one now, so we can click in and see what's the status of this. We have the task, computer four, so it's started, let's see here, activity in progress, let's refresh this, and now we should get all of them, desk, yes, of course, because he was finance, the calculator was finance, right? Yes, so we only got the two, let's see if that works. So we've got the computer and the desk. Let's go in and look at that. Computer and the desk, right. So that concludes the demo. We have fulfilled the requirements and we can now assign tasks depending on which position the new employee is in. Thank you for watching this demonstration.